have trouble believing that there's alien life out there. And I feel like there is science behind that. Well, I know that there, besides the fact that this, the people filming me today have told me that the UFOs have been confirmed by the government. I don't know about that, but I know that there has been scientific research done on formulas that basically come up with the amount of planets that could house alien life. There are a certain number of planets that they did like a math problem on and came up with like that it's possible that life is out there. So I'll stick with the scientists. I don't know about the UFOs being confirmed by the government. I don't, I mean, do I always trust our government? Not always. I would imagine they will look nothing like we've, we've pictured them in movies and TV. I think they're gonna come back maybe small. Like, you know how we always picture them as like giant? I feel like they're gonna be smaller than we imagined. You heard it here first. <laughs> That's my guess. Bigfoot's not real. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest. Bigfoot's not real, you guys. The conspiracy is that the U.S. government was responsible for selling crack cocaine in minority communities, which is like a highly concentrated form of, of cocaine. Um, it's not to say that I know a ton about how to produce this stuff, but <laughs> from what I've heard, it's uh, through this process called freebasing, where they make um, cocaine into almost like a rock. And it's true that crack cocaine which is like a highly concentrated form of, of cocaine and very cheap and really deadly compared to other kind of cocaine use. And it really wrecked a lot of communities, especially uh, minority communities in the city in the 1980s. They were selling drugs in order to fund their anti-communist activities. It's a stretch to sit and an inaccurate one. This is where it becomes a conspiracy theory to say that the United States government sold those drugs in order to, to fund anti-communist activities.